Um, it's good to have you all in the studio this morning, and uh, I'd like to start with you, Chandra. What did you share with the students this morning? Can you give us a brief? Basically, I think everyone would appreciate the fact that today we live in the in the technology world, and uh, we don't just go online anymore. We actually live online, and the internet has really made a difference in terms of access to information, because today. Just with a smartphone, you have access to the world's information at your fingertips. And this is very important for young people because it provides a level playing field, right? The level of information you have right here in Nigeria through access to the internet is the same amount of information that your counterparts in, say, the US or any other part of the world has access to. And you can really leverage that for your own personal effectiveness and transformation and the fact that people can really take advantage of the existing platforms for personal growth and development. And we've seen some great examples in Nigeria, um, examples, for example, of people who have learned a completely new trade and created opportunities for themselves. I share the story of a young Nigerian who could not afford to further his education. He got introduced to the internet, found out that he could watch how-to videos on YouTube. He would stay up all night when browse rates were low, to teach himself videography, which was something he was passionate about, but he didn't really, he needed to brush up his skills. He learned so much that he was confident enough to get a job with a videography organization for two years, and then set up his own business. Now he's an employer of labor. So he's gone from someone who could not afford to further his education, to someone who is an employer of labor, helping to solve the job creation problem. And that's part of the message to young people today. So there are no excuses anymore. You can't say, I don't have access to latest textbooks, or I don't have a godfather, or one thing or the other. These tools are available. You have access to the world's information, and information is the differentiator. That's what makes the difference from one person to another. Mm. So you should leverage these platforms to educate yourself, to empower yourself, and to take you further to achieving your, your vision in life. All right, thank you very much, ma'am. Moving to um, the other lady in the house, talking about the senior special assistant to your education. Um, ma, this is the very first initiative of this particular project, this kind of project in Lagos State, and of course in Nigeria generally. And this is the first time we're having you in the studio. I'm being connected to education and having spent some time with the student there. Can you tell us what the um, the goal, what it was for you, what it felt like, and uh, what you think uh, the government should do better going forward, you know, moving this project forward. Uh, thank you very much uh, for that introduction. Um, it's wonderful for me to be here today. Um, in fact, I actually met some students who are part of Ready, Set, Work yesterday. And, um, you know, we were giving different presentations and I just noticed how poised they were, how uh, confident they were in giving their presentations. And I had to ask, I'm like, are you a part of Ready, Set, Work? And they said, yes, we are. And I said, wow, you know, the program has not ended, but already I'm already getting testimonies as to the impact of a Ready, Set, Work. Um, it was wonderful to be in that space, you know, uh, when you are among young people um, and you are in a space where they're really feeling inspired. It's something that you feel um, and, and I felt that being with them um, in the hall. So we don't want the case where students, you know, are here and they're, they're giving all these tools and we just leave them on their own when they're gone. We want to make sure that after this uh, program has ended, that they're able to continue on and we're giving them support. So the funding uh, obviously is monetary and it will help them to sort of get on their feet, especially for the entrepreneurs. Um, so it's helping them to get on their feet, maintain themselves, um, uh, make their ideas a little bit sharper and also get experience from other entrepreneurs, more successful um, entrepreneurs that are currently doing that type of work. All right, thank you very much. Ma, back to you, Chiazo. Um, We hear, okay, that Google in conjunction with uh, Lagos State Government is actually sponsoring the digital skill for Lagos State University students. Can you write for us about that, the whole aim about it, and what students should look forward to getting from that particular training? Yes. So we believe very strongly in the potential that exists in Nigerian youth. We believe that if people have opportunity, they'll do great things. We also believe in the power provided by technology. And so we've been very excited to collaborate with the Lagos State Government to train 50,000 students in Lagos State with digital skills in three months. And that's ongoing and it's been going very well. 
and it's part of a wider initiative that we have, which is to train one million people across Africa with digital skills. We believe that if people have the right digital skills, they can participate in the digital economy. And uh, we're seeing tremendous growth in the rate of people coming online, and we want young people to be able to take advantage of that. I'll encourage young people okay, to take advantage of technology platforms to empower themselves. This is real. We're seeing great, real success stories right here in Nigeria. You can be part of those stories. I want to hear more stories of Nigerian entrepreneurs that are attracting international funding, more success stories of young people doing great things through the power of technology. Okay, so you're a girl, you're out there, and you're young, and you're wondering what you should do with your life. There you have it. Women continually changing the world everywhere and in every sphere. Okay, so you should be inspired to do something better with yourself today. That's our package for this morning. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, we'll go for a quick musical break. When we come back, the Ready Set World Podcast continues. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.